We are having a meeting here. This is actually more a meeting than a boss, a little bit of boss um, to describe what the video team is doing. And um, also people can help. Actually, a lot of people already help. Well, it's closer to you. Um, we have also to the mic. We have several teams here working. Um, the teams are listed in this abstract for the proceedings were camera team, um, audio mixer, TV graphic streaming and coding. Actually, this is mostly automatic. Uploading and archiving is not really, um, I'm not sure if this will happen for Mexico. And collecting all the slides of the speakers which needs to be done and producing DVDs. These are the areas of the team. We have, um, we have to also have some network work to do, like tomorrow, today we had network here in the morning, but then turned it off as the stream didn't work properly. Um, this will hopefully be done tonight. Um, Like, um, should we use the archive, the meeting archive here in that where we stored the recording of the last um, conferences? That's for other stuff, like, for example, we recorded Foster with only the Debian developer room, but there are also other talks which might be interesting for Debian people. Um, the same goes for other conferences, and also the, the one of the issues this meeting archive that is that at the moment or the, in the last year I was the only one maintaining the archive, uploading stuff there, putting slides there, organizing stuff and I would like to have a team doing this because in a year or in two years I won't be fed up with this if I do it alone. Um, also how to inform about new content. In the last year I mostly used my blog to say there's new talks available. I was thinking about creating an RSS feed and or an announced mailing list or I don't know. Uh, another question is what to do with the source files. Today we've gathered 100 gigabytes of data. <laughs> um, I think we can throw away 30% or something. Um, but <coughs> DV is still the best quality and should we keep it now and upload it in three years? Or should, should we throw it away or whatever? Um, another thing is backup of the complete archive. Um, we have it on, I upload it to one machine which gets, from which it gets asynced to another. But if it's deleted on the one machine, the async mode um, automatically deletes it on the other. So I keep a backup of everything I upload on my hard drive at home. And I'm buying hard drives on a quite I've bought two hard drives in the last year, I think. Uh, license stuff. At the moment, we used a software license. We discussed in FOSDEM to create a DEPCON video team license, which was when you wanted to do that to. Uh, yeah, I haven't done that, but I think. Uh, I haven't done that, but I should think. Um, I can reword the MIT license slightly so it's. It's video rather than software, or something like that. Yeah, I knew it was easy, but I didn't remember what to do there. Uh, another, the last thing from my list from this preceding was sponsorship. Maybe find sponsors for DV camps for video team members so that we can actually test setups before conferences and not in the last evening before. And also, um, the last conferences I did, I borrowed cap cam DV cams from different friends and copied all the tapes and um, the thing what makes uses the cameras hard. <coughs> um, playing DV tapes is more, um, does the camera hurt more than recording so I don't feel comfortable always asking friends for the cameras to um, copy 
to grab stuff from the tapes. That's the list of things I had. Um, yeah, I don't know how to, to go on with this buff at the moment because I'm completely tired. <laughs> um, what <laughs> so one thing which we not discussed here and where really a volunteer would be needed would be collecting slides from all the speakers so that we can upload the slides together with the talks. Um, usually 30%, 40% of the speakers send in their slides, then you send a request mail for the slides and another 30% send them and yeah, hand over the microphones. I'm Um, we have, we have no, you cannot do picture in picture as last year in Helsinki. In Helsinki, we had a, ha a hardware DV mixer, and we don't have that thing now. And we hadn't because of the lack of um, DV cams. Also, as a reason, we didn't. Yeah, it wasn't DV mixer; it was an analog mixer. Okay, in Helsinki, it was an analog mixer, but we thought about preparing DV mixer or anything, and we couldn't do this because we have no cameras. And um, we, we that at. Um, some Spanish conference in Mallorca, I don't remember which it was, they SCP'd the slides or the screenshot from the speaker's desktop to a web server so people on the net could see the, um, the slides. This is one thing, but the other thing is to, act to actually get the slides, get the PDF or the sources to upload them together with the movie. This is a different thing. So this would, would also be another job which would be nice if somebody would do this which also involves going to the speakers, installing the small script to upload the, the, the slides, but it would also be good because, um, as we've seen today, some speakers don't test their laptop with VGA out and come here and don't have a way to display their slides. So this is also a task. Tulima is going to all the speakers and tells them that they should test the notebook and they should speak with the audience and they should whatever, do whatever speaker information. And so it would maybe good to hook up with him and to go all to, to all the speakers and prepare this SCP thing. So do, do we want the, the SCP thingy? I think it would be nice. Like the streams are not so good quality and some slides are not really readable. Like in the Intel talk, she used yeah, very small but fonts. But if we have no internet here, we what's do, the point? We do also. have internet here. We do? Yes, it's just, it just turned down today because we did okay. not manage then the bandwidth. I can work in there. Yeah, it would be cool. But uh, as you said, if the, yeah, I, I should have tested it better, right, I guess. Yeah, but I don't think it's so difficult to do. Well, sometimes it, the, it makes the whole uh, screen flicker with every capture this script makes, and that's very com completely like, pfft. so, but I can, I can try, I can, can do it. Yeah, then somebody, it would be nice if somebody would say, I will collect the slides and upload them. <laughs> yeah, cool. We could do it as a team, exactly, but uh, just, yeah, have a mailing Okay, good. But no, he does the upload. No, you don't do yeah. the uploading. <coughs> we all have a, a, you not, but everybody in the video team, and we can add you as an account on Homer. Maybe everybody has an account on Homer now. And then you, you have an account on Homer, you have an account, I, I know. <laughs> you got mail with the, your password. Should oh, that <laughs> mail. <laughs> and there we can just create a shared directory for the video team where we can upload all slides and put them, yeah, collect them. Uh, the other thing, um, we need to work on the encoding of the videos. Like now we have the raw DV files and we need to write some scripts which will encode them to different codecs and different qualities, which should not be that hard. The script is easy. I've written 
those scripts for other conferences and we just need to define what qualities do we have and then we need to decide if we can keep those DV files if, if there are enough or throw them away because we don't have the hard drive space. I think we should see this in a few days. We still have at the moment 900 gigabytes free space left on this machine and on the other machine and the hack lab is also one, one terabyte. So that should work. Um, we, this is a borrowed machine, so we, we presume we cannot take away the disks. So unless we can somehow, unless we have disks to copy to, we cannot keep those original files. Yeah, I was already counting on your hard drive and my hard drive, which is together half a terabyte. <laughs> that we will uh, most certainly need to upload. There won't be enough for DV, that, for the DV, though, will it? One hour of DV is 12 gigabytes. So, and with, with, right. the, with the encoded stuff. We, we will have more than 40 hours. Yeah, with, and with the encoded stuff in a different format, so we can say one hour is probably 20 gigabytes, with, with including raw DV, maybe it's only 18. But if we have 40 hours, then it's 700 gigabytes, so we would need another 300 gigabyte hard drive to get, get everything. We'll keep the tapes. We can keep the tapes, but then we have 40 tapes, which will be, again, lots of work to, but that would be a way to store it and copy it later, but I don't think the, that The tapes are, I think the tapes are, the DV and the raw DV is going to just going to be just be a backup because no one, no one's going to, want to download that. So it's a backup if we really need it, I think. I think nowadays nobody will download it, but in five years maybe it's... Handy. Oh, then we have the tapes. Yeah, but then we won't work with the tapes. Then the tapes will be in some dust, dusty corner of, of some cupboard and I won't be interested in 40 hours copying the tapes. Which is not 40 hours work, but it's 40 hours I think we should definitely keep the tapes, but what if in f five years um, devices that can copy off DV tapes uh, faster than real time will be actually affordable? Right now they're not affordable at all, but maybe we might in the future be able to borrow or buy one relatively affordably. True, the hypotheticals are very nice, but I don't know if that's really realistic at the moment. No, 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 but the point is in five years we will yes, still have in, the tapes. In five years, we'll have another five years worth of tapes as well. Sorry. Can no. you turn the camera away now? Okay. <laughs> Thought we will just build this machine, no? Of course you will. Thought I knows about tapes. <laughs> um, you, we, we have this, the setup with the streaming is like this, that we constantly produce streams and write it to the hard drive and get files which are labeled, I think, tower minus date minus hour or minus, yeah, minus, minus time. And that would be another job to, on the end of the day to rename those files into useful file names for the encoding. Otherwise, we'll get much more files which we'll need to rename. I think this. And also de delete the other stuff so that we get. Best. So I think this would be good to have it in the video team task schedule. Like we have now tasks for audio, uh, audio mixers, video mixer, uh, video camera operators. Um, that there is every day somebody who volunteers to go through the files and... We need actually to have a way of viewing the DV files as it is. Um, there's, uh, as Marge is currently configured, there's no way of actually viewing the DV files from there. We would need someone to be able to serve those to, and I mean, you could serve them to uh, the grabbing machines and install a Trojan or VLC or whatever on there. At the moment, that isn't done. We also have the problem that we, the hack lab will be closed, the, the, the tower, will, at least the tower will be closed at some moment in the evening 
and we only have a 10 Mbit link to the rest of the network, so we cannot really st watch DV files on the other end. Or can we? No, we can't. DV no. certainly not. So we basically need to encode everything and then decide after encoding what we throw away, right? We can figure it out fairly well by the timestamp by looking at the, the modified time to tell us when the recording ended. Like, like the way you work now, you um, interrupt the recording when the talk starts and interrupt it when the talk ends, and so we have one 10 minute break or something, so we can throw away the small files. No. We actually have one break between, we tend to, we've tended to have one break between talks. It may In practice, the way it's been done, um, I've tried to do it this way, but I don't know if it's been done this way uh, con uh, consistently. But I interrupt it before each talk and after each talk, which then produces a bunch of small files which we can then throw away uh, or just echo nil into it so that your serial number generator won't be confused because that just iterates over each serial number. Uh, is it, isn't it so that in the current schedule there are no consecutive talks? There was always a break between the talks, so? There, there was so always be a break between the talks because at least so the speaker changes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, well, I don't see where is the point because you, you don't have, uh, you don't have two, follow, two, two talks following each other. Yes, today, but I mean the, the coming days, yeah, the, but there will always be a small break. Like people will get in and get out. So that, but that's that's not really the point. That's just the point that we will have small and big files which we know we can throw away. Probably, probably. But I would still suggest to encode them first to view them shortly. Another reason to continue making the small files is that uh, as long as the the breaks in the file are short enough. Uh, we can continue streaming them so that you only you don't stop the stream which would force the client to reconnect uh, You just stop recording or just make a sort of mark in the recording But if you stop But if you stop the The recording now then it automatically reconnects so the, do the clients then have to reconnect uh, so I think they do. Uh, uh, not if they don't run out of buffer space. I believe, uh, from from my uh, from my personal experience. Um, sorry, uh, from my personal experience. <laughs> what? By the way, well, uh, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? From personal experience, when I run an IceCast stream, if I interrupt the source briefly, it sometimes will, uh, if it's briefly enough, it will, re uh, it will not reconnect, it will not re need to reconnect. Good. But Good. the way it's set up now is that... How brief is briefly, How brief is briefly enough? Uh, less brief than what we're doing now, because what, um, what, what's happening now is that when we interrupt, uh, it's just a quick rerun of the file, so less than half a second probably. You always just saying on IRC that uh, he that they did have to reconnect between uh, Denise's talk and this one, so it depends how briefly that was. Yeah, but, uh, but the, yeah, but we encountered some strange network-related problems. If you scroll up here, uh, you will see that it fails to log in to the to the to the server several times. But the way um, this DC6 record, whatever its, um, script is called, it just automatically restarts the capturing yes. and the streaming. It's and relative. Is, is, is this break short enough? Yeah, it, sh it should be. Anyway. Uh, but we cannot make it any shorter anyway. No, like we it's can't. Out it's automatically started instantly. Yes. So Actually, there's, is a, there's a one second delay in there simply so that you can interrupt it properly. Yeah. So that could be removed, but it would then be very difficult to, to, to stop the loop. Then it would be difficult? To, to stop, to break the script. 
We could we could just reduce this uh, the the delay. GNU sleep allows for floating point delay numbers. So I if you know. if you just say sleep dot one seconds, you might decrease the chances of that happening. I believe this so. This is yeah. getting a bit into details. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think it would be nice if we try it. To, but this is the details are off topic or yeah. details. Yeah. Um, but we already have like I don't I've not counted the files like twenty or thirty files, which we cannot review tonight because we won't have the bandwidth to view them. Well, know. we can if we encode them first. Yeah, if we encode them fast. But how fast is the machine here, dual processor? That, I don't know. I think it's just a single processor with three gigahertz or something. So there are 27 no, files, by the way. Many uh, of them no, are blank. at least two processors. So but in my experience, it uh, If you lower the quality, the encoding will run much, much faster. And you don't need much quality for review. Yes, but still it will, we need, will need to have to set it up. And I think it's unrealistic that we'll start the encoding things before dinner. Maybe we should just do it before dinner, so during dinner it gets encoded. Then we can review them after dinner. Yay. Or maybe we should have a, a task force tomorrow or one person or whatever <laughs> to review them mo tomorrow. We can, we can try starting encoding then. Which... Uh, we can we decide quickly which which formats and we can just bit rates? We can just encode them now without deciding to 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 what we streamed, which should be enough to review them. Okay. And do proper encodings later. We just throw them away. Fine. Yeah. Good. There are 27 files, uh, seven of them are of zero length. And how many are below two gigabytes? Uh, Which is most of them. 12 minutes. <laughs> uh, hang on, I'll just grab uh, uh, Six of them are large, as in over one gigabyte. And we, how many talks did we have today? Six? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that basically works out then. Cool. Yeah, I love it when that happens. Is there anything else we need to decide now? Mm. I'm interested in your ideas of team maintenance of um, meeting archive Debian net. Like, yeah. I'm not quite clear what, um, how much work that involves and what, what the, the tasks are. Uh, do you mean uh, things like the yeah, encoding or? No, or just I mean the archive. Um, well, the, all the recorded, recorded talks are stored. Also the Debcon 5 videos and the Foster videos and the other conferences videos. Because at the moment, these are mostly talks or conferences where I have been. And now, if you go to a conference in a different part of the world and you, you make recordings there, at the moment there's no way to upload them and et cetera, to announce that, which I've... I've right, so it's not so much that there's more work than you can it's just not so much that it's too much work for you, it's just that... It is one it's an access issue, yes. Also that, but there's, there's also leftover work from DEPCON 5, like the... <coughs> we had a nice overview, or we still have a nice overview page on the Debian wiki, which I think would be good to have it moved there. There are still some... Um, slides in my inbox, but people send them to me and there are still slides ah, okay. missing. And there, are, there is some DVDs were not produced. There's stuff other people could do, and this is basically just a call for your your particip participation. 
and the, how the access issue, issue then will be solved can we discuss and practice when it's when it's due okay you want a mic So let's stop here. Yeah. Uh, now might be a time. Now might be a time to uh, assign people to tasks for tomorrow. Yes. 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 Oh. Okay, the new. I just remembered, by the way, that today on IRC, lots of people ask for various boffs. So I think it's interesting to to stream boffs, and I think we have the setup, so we just should do it. It's in the other hack lab. It's only operating a camera, basically. No. We have not tested up this today as planned yesterday, by the way. <laughs> but it's, we tested, yeah, it's just the same setup, so it should just work with little preparation. And tomorrow there's this welcome event at 11, I think, and then there's the first thing scheduled here at right after lunch. I don't know. I don't think so. There's the schedule with the or the handwritten additions to the schedule. I don't know if there's an online version. I hope so. Yeah, there's uh, something in the wiki for all the buffs and stuff in the ah. schedule. Ah. So. There's actually one short session here before lunch. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Tomorrow. Um, open Solaris and Debian, can we be friends? Yeah. There's also just before that the welcome thing, which is going to be here, so. Of course. Weren't you looking at the schedule, Neil? For, no, not the schedule, at the. the I'm top. looking at everything that's in here. Here being. The, the round, here, here, the uh, parliamentary tower. Right, or well, we need to assign people to a hmm? hack lab as well. There are there yeah. are buffs tomorrow. The the only extra ones that I remember off the top of my head is no. We wanted to discuss to to um, settle our tasks and ske our schedule for tomorrow. I think. Okay. Yeah, your idea, Ben. I think the world has to enjoy a very overworked video team now. Hello, buy us beer. Hello, Hello, beer would be nice. <laughs> Tora has been disenfranchised. So, Nati, you don't have your list here? Bastards. All of you bastards. So, then we can decide to talk over this list during dinner or before dinner, preferably before dinner. That was why Neil was looking at this computer. No, he's actually browsing porn. He's browsing porn? <laughs> isn't, it, isn't on from here, is it? <laughs> Not a wireless internet anyway. Boom. Have you recording that? Have you seen what they're doing? Oh. Streaming porn. <laughs> yeah. She was naked again. <laughs> Should we stop the recording now and the <laughs>